this man has been prophetic. Mm. This man has been standing on 10 toes down. Mm. This man has always, always given the same light, even when you didn't know his name, mm. even when he didn't stream large numbers, mm. even when his albums weren't coming in, streaming on platforms, debuting at number four in the world on Apple, iTunes, charts, and Pandora, charts, mm. and all alike. Mm. This man does not hold back his tongue. <laughs> Because he doesn't believe it belongs to him. Mm -mm. Not at all. Mm -mm. This messaging you see when you go to his Instagram, D1 Music, mm -mm. this isn't literature that he's written before. Mm -mm. This is all coming through a vessel. Mm. Energy, mm. frequency mm. that he's tapped into. Mm. He found it and he's happy. Mm. He loves the way it makes him feel. Mm. I know it because when I walk out of Equinox every night, my body is warm for working my muscles and feels good inside. I digress. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't about you, sweet. It's it ain't about me. Thing. It's about my brother right here. And yes. Heather, we've been rocking with this man since day one. Day since one. day one. Day he told one. us he taught he dealing, talking to them kids, yep. teaching them kids and jumping out of jumping out of airplanes, talking about mm -hmm. Lil Wayne and mm -hmm. everybody else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jay Z, mm -hmm. call them all out. Uh -huh. Yup. He jumped out the airplane and we were his only parachute. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> and look at him now. He doesn't need a parachute because he grew his own wings. Mm -hmm. This man is an angel. Please welcome him back to the show to celebrate his 10th album, Uno, the one and only D1 has wow. returned. Wow. Welcome wow. home. Wow. Thank feels you. good to be home. It feels great to be home, yeah. yo. It feels so great to be Come home, on, yo. man. Come on. This is, this is truly like a divine place, you know? So I feel wow. bad for the people who come in here and don't recognize that. Because from the first time I met y'all mm -hmm. yeah. and the first time we all shared this space together, this is truly a divine place. And it's because y'all got that divine spirit. You know what mm. I mean? Y'all spirits being in here, y'all permeate all the negativity, all the evil that'll try to come and take this over just like it does with the rap game. Mm -hmm. You know, we need people that's going to stand on all 10 and be like, nah, I'm still here. 10 years later, y'all still here. Yeah. 10 years later, that J50 and Weezy song came out 12 years ago, 13 years ago. I'm still mm. here. Here, come on, you know what I mean. Come on, and I, I'm not hanging on by a fingernail. <laughs> not at all. No. Come on. I, I went from teaching middle school <laughs> to right. now I'm a college professor. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. he's a Harvard fellow, yeah, y'all. Yeah, he's a Harvard on, fellow. Wow. You feel me? Shout out to Tufts. Let's go. So yeah, so I'm I'm Professor Uno teaching at Tufts University. But don't get it twisted, What's man. What's going on, man? I'm at Harvard, too. He got both of them. He got the Tufts hoodie and the Harvard t-shirt on the Come on, man. Come on, man. Look at God, boy. Look at God. And he ain't a slave to Sally May no more. Come on. Come on. I paid Sally May back. Hey, we done took it from the hood to Harvard and from the trenches to Tufts. You heard There you go, bro. Come on, man. Hey, when did you finalize paying him Sally May Sally May back. So I paid Sally May back. That was 2016, right? I owed those student loans. I had signed a record deal at the time with RCA and instead of taking my advance and buying Buku jewelry uh -huh. and, and just, you know, new cars, um, I chose to take a chunk of my advance and pay off all my student loans. Mm. And then I and then here's the flip. Here's the God flip of that. I did something non-conventional with my money, chose to pay my loans off instead of stunt, you know, uh, with my bread. And I made a song about it. It's not popular in hip-hop to rap about being debt-free, paying your loans Yeah, off. I remember you made that. Yeah, yeah, I made the song. Some people were like, they didn't see the vision. I'm used to people not seeing the vision because mm -hmm. they thinking in worldly terms. You know, they, they looking with worldly eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking with godly eyes and in godly terms. I made the song. The song blows up. I form a partnership with Sally Mae, and the bread I made from the <laughs> partnership with Sally Mae <laughs> makes... I don't even want to get into details, okay. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, just yeah. know that what I got from my record deal, which at the time I was like, dang, I got this advance from this record label, that became pennies compared to that partnership, yeah. you know what I mean? So it made it to where I was like, oh, I don't actually need the record label, I don't need the industry, I don't need all these conventional cosigns that you think you need as a young artist coming up. God really got me on a divine path to where there's gonna be income streams and revenue streams that, that make me free to where I yes. never have to do anything or say anything out of desperation Amen. for money. Yes. There you go, out of desperation for money. Mm -hmm. So everything I do, I want everybody to know this. Listen, and I'm not gonna go in detail, but just know that like I'm financially set 
you know what I mean, forever. To Come the on. point where to the point where nothing that I do or say with this large platform I've been blessed with <laughs> is out of desperation to get paid. Mm-hmm. Because by the grace of God, we passed that point now. Now yeah. it's all speaking from a place of freedom and liberation and telling people what I feel like they need to hear by a person who's fearless. Woo. D one. That's, where we that's amazing. Wow. That's well, I'm about to at. tear up on you, D1. That's, that's, Damn, man. When I, sir, I met you. Nah, you didn't, don't, don't, uh, don't tear up, man. Nah, don't, don't. Tears of joy, brother. Let yeah. me have let me have my moment. <laughs> <laughs> that was that coffin, D1. He wasn't tearing Right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> this All is like amazing. Yeah. Um, rest in power. You, 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 you showed us a relationship with a very close family member of yours. Can we speak on him a little bit? Papa. Papa. You, th- that was amazing, man. Mm-hmm. The journey you had with him. Papa was your grandfather. That's my grandfather. Yeah, and you put him on your platform, and yeah. you, you brought him to concerts. You, you, yeah. you let him experience your life. He lived vicariously through you. Mm-hmm. How, what, how did he react to that? What kind of things would he say that you would include him on those, those experiences? Yeah, um, when my grandpa had people in New Orleans stopping him and wanting autographs with him <laughs> and pictures with him and he's 93 years old and he don't have a cell phone and he don't even know what social media is those those speechless moments where he would just look at me and just kind of be like how is this happening and I'm like papa you famous <laughs> like you don't even know but you famous but in a good way you're a blessing to people because yes. I'm sharing what I've been experiencing with you my whole life now I'm sharing it with my audience and people love you and I tell you uh, his last few days in the hospital um, it was it was it was one of those situations where we called in a pastor a trusted pastor shout out to Father Tony in New Orleans called him in to like read his uh to kind of like give him his last rites right my mm-hmm. grandfather's catholic so um there's like the anointing of the sick right yeah. before people pass I was raised catholic I understand you go, what you're saying mm-hmm. yep so Father Tony comes in and he's thinking he's coming coming in to just speak over a, a man that's about to pass away soon and what he didn't realize was my grandfather was in his last days, but mentally, God still had his mind intact. Mm. So what was supposed to be a 20-minute conversation led to a two-hour conversation wow. between Father Tony and my grandpa. Wow. And by the end of the conversation, Father Tony was in tears and was looking at me like, D1, I had no idea the blessing that I was in for by coming in here talking to your grandpa. So Father Tony goes to church the next day and scraps his whole sermon that he had planned and decided to preach about his conversation with Papa. Right. So my grandfather, once again, time ticking. He in his last few hours with us. I know we ain't got much time left. I'm next to his his hospital bed and just spending cherishing them last minutes with him. I get a text from Father Tony. It's the YouTube link to his sermon from that day. He said, I decided to scrap my sermon and preach about your papa and how much he blessed me in that convo yesterday. So he sends me the YouTube link. I'm next to my grandpa. He's in the the hospital bed. I press play on it. My grandpa ain't never even seen YouTube before. You know what I mean? He don't have any technology. So I was like, papa, Father Tony decided to preach about you today. Mm. I press play for the next 25 minutes. I send all of y'all this sermon, by the way, Mm -hmm. for the next 25 minutes. My grandfather sits there and looks at and listens to a sermon that's about him Mm. and how much this pastor was blessed by my grandfather's words and spirit and everything. And for the first time in my life, y'all, I've experienced everything with my grandpa. For the first time in my life, I saw my grandpa cry. Mm. He broke down in tears. And all he kept saying, Tracy, was, I'm not worthy, God. I'm not worthy. Because unlike this generation that we live in where everybody does stuff for the attention and for the looks, my grandpa, Papa, is who he is without needing or wanting the attention. So the fact that he was being honored in that moment by a pastor that we all look up to and, and, uh, and, and really think highly of, he broke down crying. It made me break down crying. So we sharing mm. these tears, you know what I'm saying? Together in the hospital room, my uncle over there on on the side of the room, he crying. And it was just a God moment. Ooh. It was a God moment. Wow. So I'm glad that God allowed me to experience that with him because I did everything else with my grandpa mm. except cry. And the fact that it just felt like our relationship finally had... Uh, 
uh, an exclamation point on it because mm. we got to experience the range of human experiences together. And he oh, cried. Wow, he got gorgeous. to see. That's amazing, man. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, man. Yeah, Thank so you for proposed. sharing that. That's proposed. I watch y'all every day. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Let me tell you why. What a tribute. Because while mm. you was going, hold on, take the camera off. Me. Yeah. Picking them boogers, you Oh, know come mean? on, man. Dude, what you doing, D? A, a legend in the game. Yeah, Stay out, boogers. Yeah, hey, D, you ain't gonna say the truth. Hey, I, I was picking some in the lobby, so I ain't even trip. Oh, I had to go wash man. my hands, man. Or well, you could be legends in this game, and you still human, you heard me? So don't ever <laughs> think that you are above your boogers. You heard me? I want y'all to know that. I'm, I'm not even gonna tell my story. Let's just go to song. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, D1 got, got all of us in tears. He got us all music. in tears, man. He got a song on this project <laughs> called um, Your Story, Your Glory. Oh, Your Story is Your Glory. Yeah, man. Speak to that and we're going to play it. Mm. Tell me about that song. Man, I'm basically saying you got to tell your story so they can appreciate your glory. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan ain't got more rings than Robert Ory. Everybody's path is different. We all got a story. I never fit into nobody's box or category. When I do me to the fullest, the people can't ignore me. I soak up game from real ones that came before me. I'm not for everybody, and everyone ain't for me. But those who really get to see my heart, they adore me. That's that song in a nutshell. Yeah, you got to tell your story in this world, yo. You got to. So you know why I share Papa with the world? Because he had a heck of a story to tell but didn't know how to tell it. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he's not a rapper. He's not a person with a camera crew always following him like how I am or how y'all are. So I was like, it's my job to tell this amazing man's story while we still got him here. Yeah. So I would share him with social media. I got so much content. Y'all, I've been recording my grandpa for the past 10 years. Yeah. Oof. For the past wow. 10 years. I just started sharing him on social media two years ago. But all these stories that he has, it's like, man, y'all, if this ain't God, Yo, what do this, this say, just, Heather? It's what just them. happened? What is this right here? What do Yo, that say, I Sway? just saw Papa. Papa. He's this calling? Is, this is my grandpa's. Yo, this is my grandpa's phone oh. calling me right now, y'all. That it's my uncle. I know it's my uncle, but put it's it on my, speaker. Put it on speaker. Yeah. Man, gotta do, oh my god. Hello? Hello? What's up, dude? Make this quick because I know you're busy. I'm, I'm, over, I'm, I'm on. I, yeah, I'm on. A, uh, I'm on Sway in the Morning right now. Peaks is a national radio show. I'm. I'm. On, say hey to everybody. They got you on. on yeah, speaker. you live. Hey, live. <laughs> Yo. Doing out there? And, and guess what? And we on the air talking about Papa right now. Hey, well, guess what, everybody? Papa's name is up on his plot. Everything is straight. Uh, uh, oh, he's talking about on his on his uh, grave. His it's name on, is uh, up on the plot. It's yeah. on the plot? Yeah. Oh, oh man. Wow. Papa, All man. Right. Salute, huh? Wow. Yo. Hey Peaks, I want I want to thank you. Up. You know I you know I tell you this it's in private, but day, the fact that you calling right now, <laughs> I want to thank you in front of the whole country watching this for uh, you know, as much as you love Papa and as much as you did to care for him, and you know, I love you forever for that. So I just wanted to tell you that publicly on air because the whole country listening to this on the radio right now. Yep. Hey, y'all. I got my nephew thanking me for taking care of his grandfather. My daddy, he's thanking me. <laughs> wow. This is what we supposed to do, y'all. This is what we supposed to do. Yeah. There you I go. Miss I know you're missing. Well, keep up the great work, Peaks. I'm going uh, to call you when I get off air. All right, bro. You enjoy your segment. All right. You all. Love, Love you, you too, too sir. Peaks. Appreciate right. you. Wow. Y'all, this is divine, yo. 888-742-3345. Got a few questions for him, but first, I'm going to let Vincent from Detroit talk to him. What up, yo? What up, hey, man? Hey, what hey. up, though? What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? Vince, great, man. Say what up to D1. He got us in a high frequency. Mm. Hey, man, look, I'm old school, man. I like all my old school music. And sometimes I'll be listening to Sway them and got to turn it because a lot of that stuff I just can't get into. You felt that but was necessary? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Sway, you always <laughs> harass me. You always <laughs> harass me. Heather B and Tracy G, so be kindness. Sway <laughs> just always <laughs> harass me. You know, hey, you know, it's just a, a harassment thing. Vince, Vince, I make you tough, man. Go ahead. What you want to say to D one? <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm, I'm loving these rappers, man. The last couple of days is like y'all been talking to me, man. All the positive, mm. the, you know, the, the, I was listening to the interview yesterday and everything, man. It's like he, they just keep talking to me, man. And all these yeah. positive rappers, it just 
something new to listen to, man. I just want y'all to keep doing it, man. You, I'm enjoying the shows and stuff, you know, and it's thank just, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for everything, man. Thank you, brother. You're a little late to the party, man. I've been here for a minute <laughs> doing this, you know what I mean? So I'm well, glad that you, Well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I normally got to change the station, man, because a lot of that stuff I just can't nah. get into. I don't sell dope. I don't smoke. I don't drink. You know, it's just like, you know, what else is there? I was listening to DC Young Fly yesterday, and it's crazy that you said this, Vincent, because me and Sway was just telling D1 that the past couple of days here have just been on mm. it's just God mm. yeah it's been powerful yes man there we there we go brother I'm 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 there you go I'm here man uh God makes no mistakes Vince so we we tapped in and I need you to go listen to my new album it's called Uno Uno stands for underdogs and outcasts you heard me That's well, let me ask you all this yeah. let me ask you this what's best do I stream it or do I go buy the all album? Good question. That, that, that's, that's a great question, yeah. my brother. So I get more money if you go buy it on iTunes. Um, I'm I'm one hundred percent independent, so uh, so a lot of that bread will come to me. Also streaming it, uh, that's cool. I get a third of a penny for every stream, so that ain't really no bread if you want to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but what really helps is for you to go and however you consume the music, that's cool. But for you to go put some of your people on and go share and spread the word, because at this point it ain't about the money, man. Like I said, I'm good for life in that department. Um, but. Uh, it's more or less about getting the message out there. You know, uh, when you experience financial freedom, it puts you in a place where you just like, hey, I just want to reach as many people, people as, as possible. possible. Mm-hmm. There you go. Like, that's that's, that's that's what it's about, bro. Hey, Vince, there thanks you for go. your call. You're a super citizen, Let's man. Let's in the morning. Dave, you want to comment? We got D1 here. What up, Dave? Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? Excellent. I just want to say I am so moved. I still got tears in my eyes. That was crying. I was crying, too. You know, um, he took me to a place about my, my dad and my grandmother and my mom. And everything, I, just like what I told Heather B. a few weeks ago, this is why I listen to your show in the morning. I'm driving to work and I'm by everything you'll do. Mm. It's, so, it's like so hard. It gets so hard sometimes in this world. Let him out, brother. Let him out, brother. What we do you do for that d1 i'm not a big you know i haven't really um followed your music a lot but i will after the day mm. wow. Yeah. And, wow. Um, i just appreciate the show where i give all you guys your flowers thank and just you. thank you for making us feel like family absolutely because yeah. we don't we don't get this nowhere and i love you guys for that love. so d1 keep doing what you're doing and sway heather b all you guys Keep it up. I'm here every day. Thank you, man. Yo, Dave. Dang. Man, he got oh, us all crying. crying. Oh, man, Dave, you a super crying. citizen, brother. God bless you, brother <laughs> Dave. It's way in the morning. It ain't nothing like D1 said. Ain't nothing wrong with letting them tears out. It's hard. Know. Sometimes it's just really hard. And even the good people get tired. You mm-hmm. know, you just mm. you got to let them tears out sometimes. D- How do you make more room? D1, um, this financial freedom you've experienced because, you know, that does weigh heavy on us. We live in a capitalistic society, so yeah. it's hard to ignore it. Mm-hmm. Has allotted you the opportunity to say whatever it is you want. Speak your truth. Mm-hmm. Be liberated. I think we as a community should all be able to experience that. Not many of us experience that. Thanks. Can you express the feeling that you have every day when you wake up knowing that whatever you want to say you don't have to hold it. This stuff I wouldn't say on this air today. Wow. Me. Wow. It's stuff I won't say. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Bro, when you realize that money is just a tool and it's meant to be used, mm-hmm. you know, then what that does is that frees you up to where you understand, okay, like I am who I am with or without the money. You know what I mean? Yeah. I could take a dollar bill right now and literally like tear that mug up. Once I tear it up, how much is it worth? Mm. nothing it's worth nothing right but no matter what i go through no matter how many times i sin mess up in god's eyes am i ever worth nothing no no i'm always worth something i Mm -hmm. always have worth i always have purpose you know what i mean so i realized like i would not be a slave to a green piece of paper man Mm -hmm. i wasn't born just to pay bills you know what i'm saying Mm. so that right there is what is what has made me to where i'm like yo i'm i'm really not I'm not um I'm not anti money, but I'm but I'm anti the the love of money to the point where it becomes your god. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And and that's it, man. D one is here. Um, well so with with that said, you you spoke you speak out on the culture a lot. 
I do. And, and I'm curious to has anybody in opposition hit you from some of the things you say, like when you talk about sexuality and lyrics and the impact and effect that it has on kids. It has any artist who uses that come to you or DM you in, in opposition? No, because they know I'm right. <laughs> Deep down, they know I'm right. And at the end of the day, because I shine my light so bright, all that means is that my spirit irritates their demons sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with that. My spirit is supposed to irritate the demons that exist in this industry. That's okay. The artists have not hit me in opposition. If anything, it'll be their brainwashed fans, the fans who pledge allegiance to somebody who they ain't never even met before, you heard me, and who are like, I'm ride or die behind this artist or behind, or they, or they love to hit me with, uh, well, you're only talking about female artists. You're not talking about male artists. Man, I call anything out from anybody, male or female. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My first big song was, was about men. J50 and Wheezy. Yeah, the, <laughs> you know the, the, the three giants. Yeah, come yeah. on, man. So, so, nah, at the end of the day, there's some people who just get upset with, uh, with the fact that I will boldly stand for righteousness, even if it means that my quote-unquote popularity will suffer because... I wasn't put here to be unanimously accepted by the whole world. If I'm doing if if I'm doing all that little code switching to where I'm I'm cool with everybody and everybody love me, then nah, something ain't right. I want to be known for being a bold man of God who talent could stand up next to anybody in the industry, but who was not a slave to any of this, which is why I wanted to tear this up oh, wait, on hold air. Hold on, man. Get a close-up on I got, that, man. Yeah, I got to tear this up, up on air. Get that close-up. This is liberation for people at mm -hmm. home so to see that, like, wait, I spent my whole life working for this. Wait, wait, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to backstab people in my community to get this. Wait, I'm trying to glorify this. All I do is listen to rap that glorifies this. Man, this green piece of paper is now worth Nothing, y'all. Nothing. My whole life will not allow me to be a slave to that, which y'all are looking at. That's mm -hmm. all it is. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And when we when we put it in its proper place, then it's like, all right, cool. We all needed to survive, but that will not run me. Yes. And as simple as that sounds, people need to see that and hear that to be able to exercise that and put that into practice. D1. D1 Music. Make sure you follow him. Another comment I thought was interesting you talked about a while back was the mental health of the culture mm. in the community. Talk to me about what, how do you view it right now and how are those ways we can improve it? All right. The mental health of hip hop is in such a state of cognitive dissonance having to be practiced on a daily basis, mm -hmm. meaning we are actively creating and consuming content that deep down we know this is not healthy for us. Mm -hmm. This is not what we need to be putting out there into the world. But because it's so catchy and because it has a dope beat underneath it, we continue to push it out there. You got managers who are taking advantage of their artists. They know their artist is on a fast track to hell. They know their artist is on a fast track to jail or to the graveyard, but they want that commission off of their artist. Mm. And they know, like, I'm going to keep exploiting them because the world seems to be infatuated with seeing them push them you know push themselves to the limit and as a manager as an OG I'm not gonna say anything I'm just gonna collect my commission that is a mental health illness that that, that we have that's almost like right. that's predatory you know what I mean and for these artists think about it like this yo in real life if you do or glorify bad things there's death there's jail time and there's dishonor waiting for you yeah in the rap game if you do or glorify bad things there's money, fame, popularity, and legendary status waiting for you. That's why everybody want to be a rapper. They're like, oh, I could, wait, I could be a rapper and glorify all this negative stuff and be looked at as a legend and, and get paid and popular off of it. But if I do that in the real world, and if I don't have the umbrella of saying I'm a rapper doing this, then I probably go to jail or get murked behind that. Or, That's you know. Real. That's, that's what I mean when I say the mental health of hip-hop is in just a crazy place because you either got commissioners, that's record labels, it's the three C's. It's creators, consumers, and commissioners. Mm -hmm. you know I, mean? I teach about this at Tufts. My course is called The Intersection of Hip-Hop and Social Change. You got these three components. Creators need consumers. Creators and consumers often need commissioners like outlets media outlets or labels who can fund the uh the push of this music so with creators consumers and commissioners you got commissioners labels who are taking advantage of these creators who are desperate 
who are like, man, I'm just trying to get a little bread to get out the hood. Oh, we'll give you an advance check. We'll sign you, knowing that we about to exploit you, knowing that you're not mentally in a good space, but we're going to exploit you. What happened to all the major labels? Make sure y'all listen to this. What happened to all the major labels who pledged millions and millions of dollars after George Floyd got killed? Yeah. And they were like, oh, man, this is such a travesty. All right, cool. That was a PR move for them labels because now... Three years later, them labels are back to pushing and promoting and funding the creation of murder music. Yeah. Mm. But as soon as George Floyd got killed, it was the it was the proper PR move to say we as such and such records and we as such and such records stand behind the black community. No, y'all wait, wait, stand. Hold on. We as such and such radio station. Mm, we as such and such, such, such radio stations. On, we as such and such app. Come on, man. Uh, we uh, the such and such. The keep, whole the keep, whole industry, bro. Yeah, the, whole the whole industry. industry. So I'm in this industry, but I'm not of this industry, mm-hmm. man. And that's a threat to people. And I'm fearless. You heard me? I'm fearless because I don't need y'all money. The real ones gonna rock with me. I'm cool with that. I'm a college professor. I'm a a uh, 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 a billboard shorting artist. I'm a public speaker. I'm an author. I just put out my first children's book, which yep. I'm about to show y'all in a second, mm-hmm. man. And I'm not a, and I don't care about being y'all friends. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. So that's that, the part I love. With that being said, Heather, <laughs> sway. Who, who are these people, man? Who is this? We got Bootsy on here. We got Bootsy, Bootsy. on, on <laughs> Facetime. On who, FaceTime. who else we got? We got. Um, Kodak Black is on FaceTime with, with you. With mm-hmm. D1, who else? Uh, Mace, the legendary Mace is what up, on Mace? FaceTime What up, with Mace? You. My brother, Mace, what I'm up? I'm not sure who hey. that woman is, but Let you know, see. she's beautiful. Hey, hey man, chill out, scroll man. too far. Oh, 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 oh. No, that, that, that's Steph Curry's mom, actually. That's, oh, okay. That's, yeah, shout out to Miss Sonya. Yeah, no, yeah, she's beautiful. That's, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's my brother Steph's mom. Um, Yo, I'm good. With that being said, I'm on fire, and I feel even more, I feel even more motivated to continue to be bold about what's right because this Amen. this this industry got us messed up these young ladies like just watch the bet awards and yeah. you can't and you and and i love that i'm in the culture enough to where they can't try to excommunicate me i done been on the bet hip-hop awards cypher i done hosted the red carpet for the bet hip-hop awards mm-hmm. for bet like i'm in the culture but i can still look at what the culture is glorifying and doing and be like that ain't cool right there. Like, that's messed up right there. And they act like you crazy for speaking out on it. And I don't blame the 20-something-year-olds. That's yeah. why I love talking to Kodak. Mm-hmm. Or I love talking to some of the, the little youngest, Fred O'Bang. That's my mm-hmm. student. I was wow. his teacher. Uh-huh. You know Fred O'Bang was your student? That was my student, wow. bro. I was his teacher in Baton Rouge. Yeah. Sway, yeah. God, God got me on a whole, bro, like my Let's pat. Let's go. Yo, with that being said, it's the OGs who I like to call DGs because they're disappointing grown-ups. Ooh. That's what they are. Mm. It's the OGs in hip-hop. It's the ones that's 40-something years old. And, man, I hate when I see these gray head clout chasers who still talking about and I send my young boys to come and wet your whole block up and da 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 and they still glorifying this I look at with a Jim Jones you could do better brother I love you too much I love you too much to not be honest with you Rick Ross you could do better brother Meek Mill you could do better brother I love you too much not to be honest with you are you the face of prison reform because I held, uh, are you the face of prison reform or are you sitting here on your new song with Ross talking about getting somebody murked and shot at the red light which one is it, bro? Which one is it, bro? Because I did a shoe giveaway in my city and gave out 1,300 pairs of your shoes because they said reform underneath them. And I love that you partnered with, with a major shoe company and, and you out here pushing prison reform. But now I got to sit here like, man, this man glorifying getting people killed as of a week ago. Like, what are you doing, bro? Lil Snoop really got killed. That broke your heart. You wear him around your neck. What, why are you glorifying the same thing when my best friend got killed? When Carl got killed, New Orleans know who I'm talking about. When Carl got killed and I had to go to his funeral and read the eulogy and be part of the funeral. And I got back in my causeway after the funeral and I turned on my music and I realized I'm listening to music that's glorifying the same stuff that just happened to my best friend. Mm. Mm. It gave me chills and I needed that moment. That was my come to Jesus moment of like, D, you got to do something different, brother, because because you have a taste for this poison. But you, you're attracted to the poison. And rap is great. The rap game, hip-hop industry is great at cooking up some delicious poison. Mm. D1 Music. Thank you, brother. Come on, man. Hey, man. Let's celebrate this man's journey. Yeah.
and you are not alone. You are not alone. You got allies in here. You got some they can't see and some that's right in front of their face and they still can't see it. Hey, wow. It's oblivious to them. Let they me see know. that children's book, man. Yeah, Let me see that children's book. book. Yeah, so this is my mm. anti-bullying hip-hop children's book. I wrote this at Harvard Love University it. last wow. year. Uh, you see it? Yeah, it's called David Found His Slingshot, right? Mm. Now, y'all know y'all family, so I had 300 copies with me when I headlined this big festival in uh, Louisiana mm -hmm. this past weekend. Mm -hmm. And I left the festival with one copy because after that I performed, they flocked to me like, we need the book, D, we need the book. So I'm going to mail y'all y'all copies, you heard Please me? I literally do. got one copy left, right, you I'll heard keep me? this one. Yeah. One, yeah. <laughs> Could you can give you, it back to the author? It? Oh, I'm of course going to sign it, man. But this is, I used to get bullied in kindergarten, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I know what it feels like mm. when you're a little kid and you, 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 you're scared to go to school because you're scared somebody going to make fun of you. You're scared somebody going to pick on you. You're scared somebody going to steal from you. Mm. All of the above was happening to me in kindergarten. But because I found my slingshot, and your slingshot is a metaphor for your gifts, your yes. God-given gifts and, and your talents. Mm -hmm. And when you find your slingshot and you use it for the purpose God designed it for, you'll be surprised how you can defeat the Goliaths in your life, mm. a.k.a. the bullies in your life, a.k.a. the poverty in your life, a.k.a. the anxiety, depression in your life. So this book is a true story about how I found my slingshot and how I use it to overcome Amen. bullying. So, yeah, and we yeah. going... It's available now, too, oh, right? Oh, yeah, it's available, and it's 100% independent. So... Wow. You got to go online get to my website. Kids, man. There you go. Get it for your kids. How are they coming Mission, up? Let them start reading. MissionVisionLifestyle.com. It sounds so good when you say it. Say it, it one more time. MissionVisionLifestyle.com. <laughs> you hear me? You hear me? You hear how I brought it down on com. Yeah. It's like yeah. a commercial, right? Yes. Hey, D1, let's continue the celebration, man. Let's go. You just performed this weekend. Wow. Why not perform for the citizens? Yeah. That's why you're oh, yeah. one of the original, man. How you to say I've been stepping? Oh, man, I got to stand up. If we about to rap, I got to stand you up. You got to stand up, man. DB, drop a beat on them. Let's em. go. Swear Let's in the go. morning. Shade 4 5, D1. Let them levels. Uh. Come Ooh. on. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Everything I do up here is legendary. From the interviews to my grandpa calling to these bars. Love. I don't care if you know me, you bout to respect how I step Why would you think I'd ever fear you? I don't even fear death A scary boy need a gun like bad breath need a gum Yeah, your teeth clean, but I know the power of the tongue I'm a man of God, I ain't superstitious From New Orleans where Birdman quotes get treated like Bible scriptures But me, I ain't the type to brag about what I done bought I make silent moves, but I get loud results D1 talk about his pain, you gon' really relate D1 talk about his paper, you gon' know that he's straight If you gon' ask about D1, they gon' tell he great. If D1 rap on top of your beat, you gon' know that he ate. You bragging about what you done been through, partner. We survivors too. And you calling boys your brothers. Which ones gon' ride for you? Ain't no G code no more. Boy, the streets that lied to you. That's why I be in my bag, but I be in my Bible too. They don't like me, but they know they can't deny me. Man, I'm a real gangsta, and you know right where to find me. G A N G S T A. Do not try me. Growing and nurturing gifts, serving the Almighty. Keep up. A lot of people feel how I be feeling, but don't speak up. I be out there. Harvard in my office with my feet up God, why are you so good to me? I need answers Slaves built this school Now I own real estate on campus Looking for a wife I ain't trying to be your daddy But I am going to be the leader of this house You going to respect me I just need somebody I can build with The real going to feel this Like a slap from Will Smith mm. My girl don't need no rough masculine energy Let me handle that part So you can rest in your feminine Spirit gold is trick daddy's teeth And she's sweet as cinnamon My grandpa and my daddy raised a true southern gentleman I need another title, I'm no longer a rapper I'm a rhyming revolutionary, author in chapters In this book we call life, here to give you instructions On fighting self-destruction over beautiful production I don't fit in, I don't drink, smoke, or pop pills I don't even curse up in my music, but it's hot still I'm all in the hood and I ain't even strapped Simba, burrito, you're lying in your raps Sometimes I be sad, I be crying in my raps Wrote this on a plane, I be flying in my raps Boy, I deal with pain that you couldn't even fathom but all the blessings people be praying for, I didn't have them I'm not from this place, maybe heaven, maybe Saturn They sleep on me, I wake them up, they love me, that's the pattern Who cares if you die rich if you ain't dynamic? 
God got my back, why panic? They say the devil's in the details, so read all of your emails. Watch all of these Negroes, watch all of these females, watch all of these white boys. Gotta stay woke, that's right, boy. Gotta play broke, that's life, boy. No, I ain't wrong, I'm right, boy. Certain people around me counting my pockets. I ain't like that feeling, so I took off like a rocket. Speaking of takeoff, rest in peace to the Migo. I ain't stopping till the day that we stop killing our people. Picture me with a pina colada out in Montego. Bay enjoying the summer bay and she's stroking my ego. Telling me they sleeping on me. She know that I'm great. Don't need a chick, I need a queen. All my kings relate. Bring your face, listen to these things I lace. I kept going when them labels used to fling my tapes out the window, telling me I wasn't this and wasn't that. I'm still out here winning, cause the people got my back. I could make you smile all day, I'm a happy dude. Make the type of music that could put you in a happy mood. Happy blacks, happy whites, happy Muslims, happy Jews, happy Christians. Happiness will get you mad confused. We could unify behind our favorite song. Stop the music and them saying people can't get along. We out here changing the world, I know you see the Fruit. I'm pouring into the youth, cause they the truth We got blacks killing blacks, make songs about it, then we play it Man, we ain't no different from the clan, I just had to say it Then we look like coons, arguing which tunes is our favorite The devil proud of you, so he quit to elevate it The industry monetizes black murder and celebrates it You need to stop, no you better tell him David Bigger than skin problems, these are sin problems When I finish spitting, add a mark to my wind column Add a mark to my wind column Now wipe me down, yeah DB, listen, look, 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 uh oh, get loose, get loose. I go through the type of test that make you into a man. I talk with that confidence that let you know I ain't playing. I come from the type of hood that lay you down where you stand. This the type of verse that turn a hater into a fan. Let me just bust out, bust and then watch me do what I do. I be that one man army tougher than your whole crew. Started from the bottom, that's how we was living. Bro, I'm from New Orleans where even the white people got rhythm. Look, just trying to be my best, defeat my flesh. You can't be selfish and still expect to be blessed. Up to my neck in this mess, but I expected these tests. So my perspective reflects that I've neglected to rest I've been pushing and praying through the hard times I know you ain't no soldier Cause you be running when it's war time Be patient with me bro, that's all I need You can't look at a flower and forget that it was once a seed Listen, wipe me down, hold up Wipe me down, hold up We still going, yeah We still going, yeah It really don't stop It really don't stop It really don't stop Shout out to New Orleans Shout out to Baton Rouge You hear me? Shout out to Sway in the morning We make hits every time I come here, you hear me? Okay. I probably come off the top. I wonder if Sway ever spit, or should I stop? If I put you on the spot, yeah. you think you got some bars? I'm really wondering, Sway, cause man, you been a star. Hey, they call me Sway. Welcome to the show, y'all. That's all I got. That's all you got. I'm still going on. Hey. Hey, okay, well yeah, DB. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just tell him this, man, and I don't want no beef for this. Alright? Listen. Listen, y'all. What's the point of writing all of these lyrics? If I'm rapping to an audience that ain't trying to hear it. They rather me blow a bag than rap about building wealth. They rather me get some brain than rap about mental health. Don't censor me. Eventually, try to make sense of me. I don't need your dollars. I need you to think sensibly. You feel good now that you vegan. Oh, that's funny. If you're still promoting garbage, you're just a healthy dummy. My city don't even love me. I'm calling it how it is. I'm a threat to the power structure that's brainwashing our kids. I'm fracturing all the egos of illegitimate heroes. I only look up to one man because he died. Then he rose. Huh. I keep it too real because life don't last too long. If everybody likes me, I'm doing something too wrong. Maybe in time, they'll appreciate my words like Nipsey. Till then, I'm going to see how far keeping it real gets me. Mm. D1, Boy. come on, man. It's a- yeah, Uno out right now, man. Let's go, man. Uno out right now, man. New album out right now. Uno out right now. I love you, brother. Yeah. Come on. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. When, when, when I met him, he gave me praise. I sure did. He gave me beautiful praise. When we saw each other today. Mm. Bro, when, yo, for Sway to embrace me the way he did today, for Sway to say, you are a legend, D1. Yes. And and I feel like we overuse that term in hip hop. Yeah, we do. You know, so I'm just like, ah, man, 
you know, you got to be careful because ultimately I just want to be a legend in God's kingdom. There you go. But for Sway, one of the ones whose opinion really matters and holds weight to tell me that and to embrace me. It's, it's all in the embrace. You could tell how sincere somebody is in the embrace. It, it let me know that um, I'm on the right path and I'm far from done. No, man, we just begun. There you yeah, go. I mean, That's said, a bar. Yeah, you should have spit that. I said, I said, I, but you right. threw me off guard, bro. You should have spit that. I usually got a fire eight, but I, I, I was like, damn, I don't want to mess up his verse. My boy had mm-hmm. a fire two. two man. Man, he Not just, even a half. <laughs> uh, next time, I'm going to be ready for you. D1, stay the course. Yes. Yeah. Stay the course, brother. Yeah. D1, you important. There's can, not another voice more. Can I ask y'all this? Can yeah. I ask y- First of all, salute to DB. Come on, man. Yeah, he put man. you through the five fingers right salute there, baby. Salute to DB. <laughs> Salute to DV. <laughs> Had to give you a custom New Orleans. Oh uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you, Salute. thank you, thank you for that. Five fingers, baby. Um, okay. any, and I say this because a leader, you know, a leader always gotta figure out how they can still grow. Any advice y'all would have, and I and I mm. wouldn't ask just anybody, but they say a wise man seeks the counsel of of others. You know what I'm saying? Get your rest. Okay. Yes. Okay. Get your rest. Real. Get full night's rest as much as you can. You need to equip that temple for the, the journey you on. Mm. Make sure you take care of those parts. How mm. you eating, mm. getting your rest, resting your mind, resting mm-hmm. your brain, allowing your body to re-nurture itself overnight. Mm. Do those things. Because right. you got you gotta be as strong as possible for mm-hmm. the, the path you're walking right now. You know, it's like you said, nobody likes you. It's you got a lot of forces working against you. Mm-hmm. But sometimes I take joy in recognizing that. Mm. Like, oh, I feel that. Y'all working against me. Mm. Oh. Oh, I'm doing something I'm doing right. Something right. <laughs> I'm doing something and I can handle it because I see it clear as day. Right. It's like the numbers on the matrix coming down the screen. I see it. I could close my eyes and I ain't got to see it. I'm going to feel it. Mm. Right? But they might, it's a tank. They don't They don't know what mm. you built like. Mm. They don't understand that you, you've you been on this since day one. Mm-hmm. You are speaking fearlessly. That's why it brings fear. You're speaking truth. You know, people run from that. We shake. It's like it's a sickness. Oh, this truth. I don't want to accept it. I don't want to sit on it. The stuff you are, the things you are saying. I have, I've had arguments with program directors. I've been on radio over 30 years now, bro. It's like I was born here. They gave birth to me. It came me up. Right. And I've had arguments with program directors. Stop programming that music Mm -hmm. especially in the mornings Mm -hmm. when the mind is most fertile yeah it's when we take in the most is once we wake up you know it's a time period where you could retain so much information and i've had people people who didn't grow up in this who probably was a fan of me why they got into this Mm -hmm. now somehow got uh um uh, ushered into position Mm -hmm. tell me because i don't want to hear certain kind of music uh, during certain day parts, or you just disconnected. Wow. You're getting older. What? You're, and I said, hey, asshole, I didn't want to hear that music when I was 15. Straight up. What are you talking about? You don't mm-hmm. you don't feel the effects of the music. You go home somewhere else. There yeah. you go. Oh, they yeah. don't let their own kids listen to Your it. Your kids but they, ain't but they, up. Man, bro, oh, man, I, boy, I know so many executives. I could call them out by name right now to where they sitting here Pushing this music, but their kids are in private school and mm-hmm. they do not even listen to the same artists that these executives have signed to them. Mm-hmm. I had I had somebody when I was signed to RCA. I've yeah. told this story. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. called call all around the country the program directors to get OT Genesis. I'm in love with the Coco uh, played in, in, in heavy rotation at the time. And then they hung the phone up and looked at me and said, I don't even let my own kids listen to that. And I'm just like, man, this but, is this yeah. a problem. But those kids tuition fees there will be go. paid from the money that's made that something? off of go. that there you go you peep bro i so i so a lot of these people who is no disrespect but it's just like y'all need to do better why is nobody like calling y'all out like kevin Lyles, uh and i know kevin Lyles. you know what i'm saying but i look at it like this stuff young thug going through and you go and you want to uh, advocate for him to you know not be in jail and and you wanna you wanna speak on that, but why are you complicit with pushing his music 
and and continuing to allow him to perpetuate whatever it is that he was glorifying to help get him there in the first place. It's like that type of stuff doesn't make sense to me, man. And in the in the name of cognitive dissonance, people are all sit back and just ignore what it is they're pushing, but want to celebrate that we're black and we're successful now. Successful at what cost? Mm-hmm. If you feeding your family of four, but you've poisoned the minds of four million, mm. mm-hmm. is that worth it? That's not worth it, man. And that's a that's a problem, yo. And that's how that's how we look at it. I know if that if that means that I'm a hater, then call me a hater, you know, mm-hmm. all day, cause I hate that. <laughs> you know, I absolutely <laughs> hate that. Like, uh, yeah, you, like I don't care. You call me a hater, so what? Maybe that's man? a conversation. I think too, because I and, and that's something you do. You call out names. You deal with Lecrae. Yeah. You know, you know, did y'all ever come to um he, y- he 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 unfollowed me on Instagram, so that must mean his feelings was hurt, you know what I mean? And I guess I thought it was all good, but then afterwards I noticed, you know, he unfollowed me. So you know what that means nowadays. Yeah. So somebody unfollow you. I don't care uh-huh. at all. You know what I'm saying? Because even that, bro, I was minding my business and you called me you you called me to uh out. You do a video, uh trying to justify being righteous and ratchet and, and all that type of stuff and you tag me in the video publicly when you got my phone number you know what i'm saying and when we talk behind the scenes and i was just like brother i'm from the state where that ratchet term was invented you know what i'm saying yeah. where like there's people in jail and in and and in uh in the graveyard right now behind trying to be ratchet and if we promote that you can be righteous and ratchet then somebody that's already living in a state of ratchetness they feel like oh well i ain't even got to change then i just got to do some righteous stuff as well but i could continue to embrace this ratchetness and i was like that's that's unhealthy for a baby believer or for somebody who isn't mature in their faith they see that and they're like, oh, well, if if a Christian is saying that, then they must all feel like that. Since you put that out there publicly, I had to go out there publicly and say, hey, just so y'all know, we don't all agree with that. We don't all feel like that. And I got so much support from people who are like, man, that needed to be said, D. So then we did speak behind the scenes. He apologized. It was all good, da, da, da. And and he was like, yeah, you're right. I'm older, bro. I'm probably out of touch with what the word ratchet means and all will come along with it. Cool. So I'm like, all good, my brother, you know. Um, two days later, puts out clothes saying, I can quote Cardi B and Corinthians and Righteous and Ratchet and, and puts out new clothes. So it's like, oh, you must have still wanted to monetize this moment. Regardless of what we talked about behind the scenes and you saying like, oh, I get it now. Like, my bad, D, like, dang, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm tripping, you know, da 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 you still want to go forward with trying to monetize this moment. And it was just disappointing. Mm. So I'm just like, yeah, that has to be spoken about too because public actions will get public responses. And it's no beef, it's no hate. It's no just, beef, no hate, just differences. There mm-hmm. you go, just differences. Just differences. I would love to hear you and Kevin Lyles have a conversation. Oh, I would love I got his phone number. I could call him right now. It's just that, watch this. If we don't call people out by name, you know what happens, man? Is we you missed that by uh, the way. Damn, D. Ah. Nobody had to know that. All right, though, all right. right. Boogers and misses. Yeah. Yeah. Boogers and misses. Yeah. Right, right. This is righteous snitching happening. Right, right. Here. Righteous snitching. Uh, my yo, God. Yo, yo. <laughs> Sweet. Here's my thing with calling out. Here's my thing with calling out names. Is we know that these people have nestled into this convenient space where their success camouflages the fact that. They are at the forefront of being able to shift what's wrong with this culture. And if we never call these names out and if we just look at it like, well, that's a legend. That's untouchable. You can't talk about that person. You can't say nothing about this person. That's that's the biggest, you know, uh, artist in, in that realm or that's it. Da, 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 da. Then those people. Are the biggest part of the problem Uh if they have the biggest potential to help shift things but if nobody ever talks about what it is that they could be doing better it's like i don't call you out because i got a problem with you man like i wish we could go get lunch right now me and any of them i love you too much to not be honest with you there you go that's what it is bro and so if anybody yeah if anybody feel bad about being called out it's like let's let's talk let's uh let's talk let's talk about it and and, let, and let's just figure out what we can do better. But at the end of the day, guess what's not changing? The word of God ain't changing. Okay. Uh, there's death and life in the power of the tongue, Proverbs 18 and 21. That's not changing. And trying with this foolish 
argument that it's just it's just entertainment. This ain't real. Mm -hmm. How many more people got to die in the hood, man? How many how many people at the end of the day lives got to get ruined and and poisoned and how many rappers got to get killed for us to be like, "Come on, man, when it's hip hop, it's a whole culture and and it's implied that this is autobiographical and this is non-fiction tales that people are telling." How, how much does that have to happen? So don't hit me with that. People just don't want to confront the reality of this stuff, man. And <laughs> And you are. I, mm -hmm. I am, bro. And I and I gotta keep doing this way. And I gotta and I gotta stay smart about how I approach it. Um, I gotta stay bold, but I speak to the goodness in people. And I know because I speak to the goodness in people, I'm always gonna have people's ear. I'm always gonna have their ear. It's just is their spirit ready to accept what I'm saying? Because I'm not speaking from my heart, I'm speaking from the word of God. And with that being said, some people are like, dang, I know what he's saying is real, but I just got paid 80 bands to do this show. Meek Mill is the one who came out with the viral clip a couple weeks ago at a at a uh, at a conference saying the labels pay us more money to rap about negative things. So you're speaking up against that, Meek, and you're talking about how the labels try to trap us. Meek, don't turn around and do the same thing that you were just blasting them for. You know what I'm saying? That makes it seem like you poor. And you desperate for whatever bread they're going to pay you for that. But we know you're not poor because we see you on the PJs. We see you with all the jewelry. We see you with all the cars. So what is it that you want to represent at the end of the day? The power of the tongue, man. Like, there's life and death in it. And for these artists, I'm just like, bro, we can't use that excuse no more. The labels just wanted me to do that. And we can't use the excuse. That's what the fans want. You know yeah. what? With the fans, I'm going to say this, the last thing. With the fans... Y'all really don't want to see nothing different. Like, like people don't want that real. They just say that they do. Because if y'all wanted to see something different, there's enough artists who are offering you different type of music with the message that you claim you want. Enough of y'all don't want that because we have become addicted to the delicious poison that is the rap game and what's been pushed on us for so long. Fans, if y'all want something different, I need you to, I talk about this in my college course, I need you to become what's called a consumer activist. That means that as a consumer, you understand that you have the power to be an activist as well. And your purchasing power and what you choose to support is a form of activism. So if you don't want to hear no more of this type of music, don't support it. Don't make a TikTok uh, uh, video using those type of songs because you're just helping to push the furtherance of that and, and, and support what it is that you want to see more of. But I don't think enough fans really want to see something different. You know, some do. But, uh, you know, and, and I'm putting y'all on the spot because yeah, I'm making the listen. fans accountable. Yeah, they don't like we that. all a part of it. That make them uncomfortable. And and I purposely do. Y'all, if I wanted to, God bless me. I ain't no ugly dude. I'm lyrical. I got charisma. I'm intelligent. Man, I could be playing the game and manipulating it so I could be as popular as possible. But I'm actually doing the opposite. And I'm saying and doing things. That, that, that's gonna make some people be like, I don't rock with dude, man, because dude kind of called me out and he kind of poked me. But if I can help you be a better version of you at the end of the day and help get you closer to God, I don't care if you're not a fan of me as an artist. I'm gonna be okay. I'm actually okay already. But I'm here to do that, man. So if we have more artists with that mindset, this world will be a better place. D1, man. I love it, brother. <laughs> D1. D1 music.